Okay, the last construction we are going to create is an angle bisector. So I've given you, I have triangle ABC, and I'm going to bisect that angle. I'm going to put my pointer on point B, and I am not going to assume that A and C are equal distance from B. So I am going to make an arc that goes through my angle and create two points, which I'll label as A prime and C prime, and I now know that these from A prime to B is congruent from C prime to B. Those two segments are congruent. So I'm working with two equal distant points from B. I'm now going to put my pointer on A prime, and I'm going to make an arc in the middle of my angle. I will then put my pointer on C prime and make an arc in the middle of my angle and that intersection point should be directly in the middle of angle ABC and so I have created an angle bisector. So now we're going to work with a triangle. There's three angles in a triangle so you need to have three angle bisectors. So first I will bisect angle Y I'm going to put an arc through angle Y. I have now created two new points, which I'm not gonna label just to save a little bit of time. I'm gonna put my pointer on one of those points and make an arc kind of almost in the, it's in the middle of angle Y, but it's also in the middle of your triangle. And repeat those steps on the other side. So those, that intersection point, when I connect it to Y, should bisect angle Y. I'm then going to bisect angle Z, put my pointer on it, make an arc, and I've created two new points. I can put my pointer on those points and make arcs. I'm going to make these arcs a little bit farther away so they don't intersect with my other arcs that I have. It's easier to keep track that way. And again, when I connect my intersecting arcs, the point of my intersecting arcs to point Z, I should bisect angle Z. And again, I've bisected angle Y. So now all we have left is angle X. I will make an arc through angle X. Oh, that didn't work out very well. I'm not going to erase. I'll just make my open my compass up a little bit more. I now have my two points to work from. I'm going to open up my compass really far this time, so again I'm just farther away from all the other arcs that I've created. I have an intersection point. When I line that up with X, it should bisect. One, two, three angle X and just like all of our other diagrams when you construct all three angle bisectors inside of a triangle they all have a same common intersection point.